what we're going to do today together is really look at the mistakes that you guys are making today that prevent you from being totally 100% instinctive all the time, even under pressure, and really preventing you from being and getting into the zone. What is it that um, you feel when you think about your career, when you think about your talent, about how you act? How often are you 100% instinctive, even under pressure? Can you say about yourself that you always get in the zone? And if not, and I suspect that it's not always, because that's not how acting is taught, um, I want you to share with us how that makes you feel as an actor. Back in the day when this happened to me, I really felt that something was wrong with me. I was looking at this act actress, Aurélie, oh, my French accent came back, at this actress, Aurélie, and I really felt like there was something special with her and something wrong with me. I felt like there was maybe something missing, something I needed to learn, um, something that I wasn't getting, something that I needed to fix, something that I needed to improve. So basically, there really was something wrong with me and it could be fixed. And so um, I really embarked on this quest of discovering why I wasn't able to be as great as she was, why my acting was just good and not magic. And in the beginning, what I did in order to do that was really to take every class out there. I took some singing classes, some voice classes, some movement classes, some method classes, some Batson classes, Meisner classes, scene classes, camera classes, casting classes. And as you can see, maybe you can share also what types of classes are you taking or have you taken in order to fix, in order to bridge that gap that there is between you and the brilliant actors, in order to improve, always get better. I can get better. I remember thinking, I'm here. Well, Heli is there. I just need to get better. So I need to learn and learn and learn. And no matter how many classes I was taking, no matter, no matter how much money I was spending and time and definitely hard work I was putting into it, it really never got me to be instinctive all the time or being able to get in the zone all the time. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I didn't learn anything from all the wonderful mentors I took classes with. It was extremely inspiring. I got the best tools from the best mentors and I met some wonderful teachers. I knew a lot about acting and about the instrument. I knew a lot. However, under pressure on a set, I wasn't able to deliver Take after take, no matter how much pressure, no matter how many obstacles were coming my way on a casting room or on a set, I was not able to be consistently 100% instinctive or in the zone. There was a missing piece, right? So what this was creating is that I was always trying to rely on something external. And the more I was doing that and hoping that someone smarter than me would give me the trick, the more I got desperate because I was walking away from what was actually there and that I had to deal with. The first thing I want to tell you guys is no wonder. No wonder because acting is the art of being alive. And what are you right now? You're alive. So there's nothing to fix nothing to learn, absolutely nothing to improve. You are perfectly alive right now. With all the good stuff and the sticky stuff, you're alive and you're in the art of doing that. So you don't need more information. Who could possibly on earth teach you how to be alive when you already are alive? The second point I want to make is it is not your fault at all. You are not guilty of making the mistake of going class after class after class, hoping to improve, to fix, 
to get better, to not have that sensation of being not good enough anymore. The reason why you do that is because you have been trained, you have been molded, wired, and educated that way. Remember how a school, when you sit for seven hours with an adult who talks to you about things you have not asked to be talked about, who is like, downloading information on you for seven hours, telling you how to behave, what you can do, what you can't do, how to fix your body needs, how to eat and go to the bathroom, and when to do that. I was daydreaming, and it was wrong. So that's the first wiring. However, what was right was, I'm not good enough. I need more information fed into me so I can become a good enough person. So that's the wiring we get at school. And you might be thinking, yeah, but wait a minute, that's, that's, there's no other way. You need to teach kids some way. And I can totally understand where that's coming from because that might be all you have known. My kids personally go to a very radical humanistic school where they don't get any teaching unless they specifically demand to be taught. The teachers do not have the right to teach them. So what does that mean? That they do whatever the heck they want during the whole day. Whatever the hell is right for them and for their instinct, they're invited, encouraged, and nurtured into following their instinct and becoming who they have to become. And then you might say, yes, but that's scary. They'll never learn anything. Trust the human brain instrument spirit we are an evolving being we have an instinct if you leave it alone your instinct will want to learn the point that, that i'm trying to make is that the reason why you look for external information and things to fix you is not your fault is the education system's fault because that's how it has wired you that's how it has built you to think that whatever the hell is happening to you and feeling might not be the right thing to feel that however if you listen to the authority and behave like the others that is the right thing to do so what happens when you're an actor the first thing you look for is a smarter person a better person a mentor who will be able to teach you give you information on how it's done and let's look at the third point when you finish school and you go to acting school, what happens? The exact same thing. There is a method. It involves doing these eight things, sense memory, relaxation, scene breakdown, blah, blah, blah. And once you do all this, you can act. Well, by doing all that, again, you have a lot of information and you know a lot about things. And the more you do that, the more you get away from yourself, from your instinct, from being capable to listen, to hear, to tap into what you have going on all the time because it's alive. So what is preventing you to be alive, instinctive, in the zone all the time is the thought that there is something wrong with you and therefore something to fix and that you're reaching out outside of yourself to learn that thing when all you need the root of everything is you your instinct and your aliveness right now in every moment with all its beauty and all its stickiness this is what you have to bring to the table what we do is really to unlearn and undo all this wiring so you can start listening what's underneath it which is your truth and your unlimited power your impulses, your instinct.